Good morning and welcome to the area of securities markets update. Beginning with the Asian session today, there were two economic releases from Australia which had a notable impact on the Aussie across the board. Firstly, the new home sales posted the biggest monthly decline since April of 2012. However, the impact seemed limited as 30 minutes after this reading, a positive, a positive release came in and eased the speculation for any further measures to stimulate the economy by the Reserve Bank of Australia. The private capital expenditures came in unexpectedly higher, rising by 1.1% in the second quarter of this year, comparing to a decline of 2.5% percent in the first quarter while the estimates were to, to decline by 0.6 percent and this is the first and the highest increase since the fourth quarter of last year as a result the Aussie advanced across the board rising the most against the US dollar with more than 0.25 percent reaching as high as 0.9372 so far while the pair is testing its 100 and 150 day moving averages and a daily close well above today's high is likely to clear the way for further uh, further gains above 0.94 in the next few days. As for the European session today, uh, session today uh, we will be well, focusing on uh, four economic data sets from uh, Germany, Spain, Italy, and uh, which likely to have uh, a immediate impact on the markets ahead of uh, some key figures or key economic figures uh, during the US session. In Germany, the flash CPI is expected to show no growth in July after an increase of 0.3%, while there is a possibility for a negative reading along with the recent slowing down. The German also unemployment change is expected to decline slightly by 6,000 in July, comparing to another decline of 12,000 in June, which would be the second monthly decline in a row. In Spain, the year-over-year -year CPI is expected to post its second monthly decline in a row by 0 point, minus 0.2 percent after a decline of 0.3 percent in June. Finally, in Italy, the retail sales is expected also to decline again for the second month in a row by 0.2 percent in June, comparing to a decline of minus 0.7 percent in May. Going forward to the U.S. session today, all eyes will be headed toward the revised GDP for the second quarter of this year. The estimates are post or pointing to a revision to the downside to 2.9 percent from percent from 4 percent, while we believe that the revision may come in below 3.6 percent. U.S. jobless claims may rise slightly also to 299,000 last week, compared to 298,000 the week before. And finally, pending home sales it may rise by 0.6 percent in July, comparing to a decline of minus 1.1 percent in June. This is it for today. You can follow us on our social media sites, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube to get the latest economic releases, reports and analysis. Thank you for watching.